How's it going ladies and gentlemen? So today I bring to you guys a video that took me probably about a week and a half or so of total progress to uh, to record and just to move forward with it. Um, first things first, uh, yes we are starting off with Hunter level 89. Um, like I said in the past, this is basically all I'm going to be doing for training Hunter. Um, now recently I have started getting into hunting Jadinkos. I wanted to get level 99 first uh, from just doing Grenwalls because I remember doing Jadinkos at a lower level on my newbie account back when I was going for max cape on it uh, and I failed very very often so I just felt like it wasn't going to be worth it anyways um, and obviously I don't have the tracking aura either where you you know get from all the uh, loyalty points uh, which would, would have probably helped a lot but since I don't have it I decided to stay at Grenwalls and um, yeah I believe just recently I'm not too far at you from 99 and I have like 160,000 Grenwall spikes on now on my Iron Man account which is pretty sweet I mean they used to be worth like 1k plus each but um, because of all these updates, it, they did make them like 300 each, which isn't really a big deal, but um, I mean, it's amazing Hunter XP. And here we did have, quite a while ago, I did achieve 99 range from just doing Slayer. Um, unfortunately, I still do have the Crystal Bow, even as of right now. I'm still working on smithing. 90 is actually a pretty damn high-ass level to get, uh, but I'm still working there. And there is actually my first ever Staff of Light. I believe that was 300 and something kill count. I guess you guys will see in a second. Oh. Yeah, around there. So, uh, yeah, it took a while to get, I guess. I think the drop rate was like 1 every 512. Um, and here is me completing the quest uh, for the 450k prayer experience, uh, which was 100% worth doing. Um, I mean, that's that that's like 4.5 mil or like 5 million GP. I would have spent at like Crystal Serin thingy, whatever the hell you want to call those things. Um, so, yeah. But, yeah, that was Blood Run's Deep Quest. Totally worth doing, especially on an Iron Man. Um, if you guys were going to look this quest up later on, you will notice that it does say you need to complete the Fremnik Diaries, or the Achievement Diaries, or whatever you want to call them nowadays. Um, but you actually don't have to complete the one where you need to unlock like the first Livid Farm spell. I went ahead and runecrafted like 2k Astro Runes, thinking that I'd have to do that. Um, but then again, it wasn't too bad of an idea, because I did get some farming XP. And I think if you are going to go for like a Comp Cape, which I believe will be available on Iron Man in the future, um, you can do livid farming for the lower level uh, farming levels because it is very slow at the starting until you can start at least doing magics and palms when you get those seeds from like Ganodermics. Or you can just be a noob like myself at the moment and just do uh, pineapple runs. I'm not even doing maple runs because it's like 150k for three maples and you can do like over 15 maple trees a day. That's like almost a million GP a day. I don't even want to spend that much money right now on maples. I might consider it just because, I mean, you can make a mill pretty quickly either way. Um, but yes, there's also me getting level 97 Slayer. I did do a little bit of Slayer uh, in that week as well, just because I wanted to get close to 99. Um, so yeah, just still arranging most of my Slayer tasks. I really don't want to return to Slayer until I at least get the uh, tier 80 bow. Or um, I could have been start working on Queen Black Dragon, but like I said, I've already tried it. Didn't work out too well. Um, I'm going to wait till I get a few more levels in smithing, and then I can maybe start making myself some arrow tips, like Dragon Bane arrow tips. I don't have any crossbows right now to actually use, um, and I don't really know why I recorded this strength level, but it's, it's this is strength level, so that's cool. Um, but yeah, I'm considering making just some Dragon Bane arrows and using like a shitty ass bow, basically. Um, to see how that works against Queen Black Dragon versus like a tier 70 Crystal Bow. Um, it might work a lot better than, you know, Crystal Bow for right now. But um, yeah, I'm waiting until I get a crossbow. And that clip there is me basically getting my fourth ship unlocked on Iron Man, which is a pretty cool achievement. Um, and I'm actually getting very close to the next region as well from the Jade. I forget what it's called. The Stanley Steel one. I don't know what the actual region is called, though, but that's what you get from it. Um, and then once again, just some more Hunter levels. I believe this is level 90. What is it? 93. 95 yeah nine no 92 okay i think later on i get up to 95 but i had a lot of grenwall tickets in my bank and i decided to start using them kind of sucks because you, you basically have to do hunter every single day unless you want to do a lot of hunter for like a day and a half later on in the future um with doing the big chin but i mean I, like i said it's worth doing it's the best xp um but like i said once i hit 99 i'm going to be doing jadinko hunting for those seeds um recently i've noticed how op uh potions are like juju uh, perfect plus potions or yeah is that what they're called i forgot the freaking name now um but yeah just some more prayer here basically just finishing it up um i want to get the soul split obviously unlocked which will be an amazing milestone for my iron man need to get level 95 no matter what i mean i don't really know if curses are worth using even if you don't have 
95 prayer, but um, I mean, Soul Split's okay. I've never actually used anything else on Cursed Prayers besides like the level 95 prayer, the Turmoil ones, um, and Soul Split. I don't know if it actually has like lower level ones that are somewhat decent, um, but I, I guess I can look it up. I think only one of them just increases your accuracy or something like that. Um, and there's level 89 agility as well, just doing half an hour every single time I have it on my Iron Man. So uh, worth doing that is where most of my prayer actually came from besides like two Milik Spears. So I think I did just from Crystals just because I wanted to AFK. And another agility level should be achieved. No, wait, this one's the prayer level, right? So this is the one where I got 91 prayer. And I believe later on I do get 92. If it's not in this video, it will be in the next one just because I know I finished it recently. But um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video today. Um, that's mostly all I have. This took about like a week and a half, like I said, to put together. Mostly just getting a whole bunch of levels. And here I am now just doing some agility because I'm bored. Well, bored of doing agility for now, but once I get 99, I might take a break just because I want to do other things right now, but I can't. I have to keep doing agility. It's fucking irritating. Anyways, if you guys obviously did not notice, I did get 2300 total level at the end of the video. Um, so that's not too bad. Nice milestone to reach at least. Um, obviously still got a long way to go. I can't, I don't know if I'm excited to hit 2400 to unlock World 48. I mean, from what I know, World 48 is just a bunch of people dancing and eating, so not really much to unlock there, but, um, in case I'm doing something where, well, I think everyone's fucking max on R3, so World 48 is really no different than any other world. Anyways, thanks for watching the video, guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Um, yeah, gains all up in this bitch. I apologize if I sound tired. Um, I am. It's 5 a.m. right now. I just wanted to record this uh, tonight. It's the audio part of it. Put it together for tomorrow so you guys can watch it. So thanks for watching. Um, as always, likes are appreciated. All kinds of gains in this bitch.